Doomsday Book encompasses two independent works. Originally, in two physical volumes, Little Doomsday, covering Norfolk, Suffolk, and Essex, and Great Doomsday, covering much of the remainder of England, except for lands in the north that later became Westmoreland, Cumberland, Northumberland, and the County Palatine of Durham, and parts of Wales bordering and included within English counties. Space was left in Great Doomsday for a record of the City of London and Winchester. But they were never written up. Other areas of modern London were then in Middlesex, Surrey, Kent, and Essex, and have their place in Doomsday Book's treatment of those counties. Most of Cumberland and Westmoreland and the entirety of the County Palatine of Durham and Northumberland were omitted. They did not pay the national land tax called the Geld. And the framework for Doomsday Book was Geld assessment lists. Little Doomsday, so named because its format is physically smaller than its companion, S, is more detailed than Great Doomsday. In particular it includes the numbers of livestock on the home farms. Domains. Of lords but not peasant livestock. It represents an earlier stage in processing the results of the Doomsday Survey. Before the drastic abbreviation and rearrangement undertaken by the scribe of Great Doomsday Book. Both volumes are organized into a series of chapters. Literally, headings. From Latin caput. Ahead. Listing the manors held by each named tenant-in-chief directly from the king. Tenants in chief included bishops, abbots, and abbesses, barons from Normandy, Brittany, and Flanders, minor French sergeants, and English the Gens. The richest magnates held several hundred manors typically spread across England, though some large estates were highly concentrated. For example, Baldwin the sheriff had 176 manors in Devon and four nearby in Somerset and Dorset. Tenants-in-chief held variable proportions of their manors in domain, and had sub-infudated to others, whether their own knights, often tenants from Normandy, other tenants-in-chief of their own rank, or members of local English families. Manners were generally listed within each chapter by the hundred or wapentake in which they lay. Hundreds. Wapentakes in eastern England. Being the second tier of local government within the counties. Each county's list opened with the king's domain. Which had possibly been the subject of separate inquiry. Under the feudal system. The king was the only true owner of land in England. By virtue of his allodial title, he was thus the ultimate overlord. And even the greatest magnate could do no more than hold land from him as a tenant. From the Latin verb tenere, to hold, under one of the various contracts of feudal land tenure, holdings of bishops followed, then of the abbeys and religious houses, then of lay tenants in chief and lastly the king's sergeants servients, and the gens. In some counties, one or more principal boroughs formed the subject of a separate section. A few have separate lists of disputed titles to land, called clamours, claims. The equivalent sections in Little Doomsday are called innuasiona, annexations. In total, 268,984 people are tallied in the Doomsday Book, each of whom was the head of a household. Some households, such as urban dwellers, were excluded from the count, but the exact parameters remain a subject of historical debate. Poston for instance contends that these may not represent all rural households, but only full peasant tenancies thus excluding landless men and some subtenants, potentially a third of the country's population. Derby. When factoring in the excluded households and using various different criteria for those excluded, 
as well as varying sizes for the average household concludes that the 268,984 households listed most likely indicate a total English population. Between 1. 2 and 1. 6 million. Doomsday names a total of 13,418 places. Apart from the wholly rural portions. Which constitute its bulk. Doomsday contains entries of interest concerning most of the towns, which were probably made because of their bearing on the fiscal rights of the crown therein. These include fragments of customals, older customary agreements, records of the military service due, of markets, mints, and so forth, from the towns, from the counties as wholes and from many of its ancient lordships. The crown was entitled to archaic dues in kind, such as honey. The Doomsday Book lists 5,624 mills in the country, which is considered a low estimate since the book is incomplete. For comparison, fewer than 100 mills were recorded in the country a century earlier. Dubby indicates this means a mill for every 46 peasant households and implies a great increase in the consumption of baked bread in place of boiled and unground porridge. The book also lists 28,000 slaves, a smaller number than had been enumerated in 1066. In the Doomsday Book, Scribe's orthography was heavily geared towards French, most lacking K and W. Regulated forms for sounds and an ending many hard consonant words with E as they were accustomed to do with most dialects of French at the time.